Hey guys, how's it going? Well, if you own one of these older GM cars or trucks, frequently you're going to run into one of these. This is one of these HEI distributor caps that has a coil mounted in it. It's kind of a coiling cap, I guess you could say. And anyway, when you go to put a new distributor cap on and rotor and do a tune up, you have to swap out the coil onto your new cap over here. So I'm going to show you how that works. Um, this is quite an efficient design since the coil sits right on the cap. There's no need for a coil wire anymore. But the only drawback is these tend to run a little bit warm and sometimes they tend to fail quicker because of that. But because uh, you can see the cap's off the vehicle, it doesn't have to come off the vehicle to do this, of course. But uh, I have it off because it's just easier for me to do it that way. All right, what you're going to look at? Normally, you're going to have a circular ring here that snaps into this plastic cover I've already I don't have that on this one so that's not here and I've already pre-loosened the fitting so you don't have to sit and watch me uh, get things pried loose and all that just kind of make a more efficient video uh, you have two quarter inch screws there's one here and one here and you loosen these up I've used a just a regular uh, nut driver I loosen these up and then this just lifts up and pulls off like so and then when you get in here you're going to be looking at your coil this is your actual ignition coil and you have two leads right here and this has to be, this happens to be red and white this is red and white and you need to make note of where they are I've already pulled these up a little bit they simply just kind of pull up vertically out of where they sit here in the cap so on that one I used a, carefully used a set of needle nose pliers and just worked them up a little bit. You don't want to be yanking on them because these wires are not the largest diameter and you could break one. So you don't want to do that. So get them out and where they're not making any kind of interference anymore. And make sure you make note of where they are. Like white is on this side. Lights on that side, reds on this side. If that's the way they are to start with, put them back that way. Don't switch them up. Don't get, don't read more into this and think you gotta go look in diagrams on the internet. If it was running good, put them back exactly like they were. So, next up, you got four more uh, quarter inch bolts. These hold the coil in, actually. And you're just gonna remove those. Notice that the coil has a ground that goes under one of those here, and then this might be kind of a snug fit. I had to work on this one a little bit to get it loose, but uh, I'm just gonna work the coil in this one hand in there. But work the coil out of the cap, and there it is. Now I see something here. That I don't like on this one that might have contributed to my uh, misfiring I was having occasionally. You see this bottom of this coil for whatever reason has had moisture get in it or just the air has been moist but it's rusted this. So that's not good. Uh, that has to be clean. So that, that could be brass but I don't think so. <laughs> so I'm going to clean that up. But what you're looking at, once you get this coil out, play my music loud so I can bother people. Once you get that out, you got a large rubber washer in the bottom of the cap. And then underneath that sits your contact for the rotor, which goes through there. And it looks like this. See, that's got quite a bit of wear on the end of it. But it just sits in there like this. You put that in first and then you put the uh, washer over it. And also, very importantly, is this cap will have a ground strap. If I told you that I almost dropped the camera, would you believe me? I bet you would. So that needs to come out. Uh, I need a mini tripod. That's what I really need. Let's see if we can work this out. There we go. Just work that out. That has to be transferred into your new cap. Be sure you do that. 
do not forget to put that ground strap on there so in your new cap will come with the new little part here you just slip it down in there and you slip that over that like so make sure the spring is sticking up through it like that like that so then it's just a matter of replacing things exactly how you took them out of this cap just in there so uh, just be careful with it and like I said if you run into something like this I'm gonna wire brush this He's carefully right wire brush this and get this corrosion off that I, don't know, I can't explain that I don't know what's up with that but and when you put the coil back in a couple things you need to keep in mind like I said make sure you have that stuff put in there first and go straight down with the coil and make sure it is sitting in there level and that you have the ground strap in there before you put the coil in and just clean it up I'm gonna clean this I'm gonna wire brush this see this is looking kind of rough right there so I'm gonna clean this whole thing up and get the contacts looking good and when you put the screws in just don't over tighten them because you'll you know you just want to snug it in you don't have to you don't have to uh, crack the distributor cap what is that? Uh, ah, that's just a Mustang. Oh, there you go, guys. That's how you do it, despite me almost dropping my camera. <laughs> so if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Have a good one.